So the question is, is Jungle Cruise the summer blockbuster that we need right now? Stick around to find out. Frank, get it. Hold on. Come on. I got it. Frank. I don't got it. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Goodness sake, just leave me alone. That was a disaster. It didn't go the way I planned. So Jungle Cruise is directed by Jaume, Colette Sarah, and this movie stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Emily Blunt, it's the perfect mixture for a summer blockbuster. Uh, Jesse Plemons is in this film as well. I had no idea that he was until I watched it. I don't remember seeing him in the trailers. Uh, must have been an oversight on my part. And along with Paul Giamatti, who I was surprised to see in here, uh, I didn't know he was in it. It must have, again, been just one big oversight. <laughs> Those are two actors I did not expect to show up that did um but that's who this movie stars and uh yeah pleasantly happy to see them in a summer blockbuster like this as well this film is definitely made for folks who like movies like pirates of the caribbean the curse of the black pearl or like the lone ranger um things like that um and i think that it definitely you know pales in comparison a little bit to the curse of the black pearl but i'm happy to report that i had a lot of fun with this movie at the end of the day and i think that it's a really good time maybe not everybody is going to be on board with all of the events that happen in the film there's definitely something that happens about yeah, maybe 75 65 percent of the way through it that people are just going to be like what the hell and they're either going to buy into it or they're not um myself i bought into it enough and i think it took an actor like dwayne the rock johnson to sell me on the thing that does happen and i'm happy that um i did get sold on it and that i did end up enjoying it and that i bought into it the way i did it was just a really fun time of a movie and we kind of are missing these where you can just kind of sit back relax not have to worry about too much shove a little popcorn in your face and have a really good time it's a really fun sort of indiana jones style adventure but it doesn't mimic Indiana Jones either. It really does take on its own tone. Jaume Colette Sarah definitely knew what he was doing in taking on his own sort of project here and not making it too verbatim of anything we'd seen before while taking inspiration from things we'd seen before for sure. Um, but there's a couple unexpected twists in there too. And I think that that definitely kept the film feeling fresh, feeling a little bit different. Um, and so I really enjoyed this movie for a lot of those aspects. And I think that Emily Blunt and Dwayne The Rock Johnson have really, really great chemistry. And I was happy to see that. And it's nothing more than what it's marketed to be. Honestly, if you like the marketing material and you think it looks good, you're probably going to like this movie. Movie. If you don't like the marketing material and this type of thing isn't for you, you probably won't like this movie. It really is just everything it was marketed to be with a couple little twists in there. Um, that really, to me, kept it very fresh. I genuinely think we need more films like this, though, because there's just not a lot of disney films that really succeed at doing what it's trying to do here um and this one just did it felt like uh back in the day when i would see something like pirates of the caribbean curse of the black pearl and it was just a really fun adventure movie with kind of a story behind it that really made you enjoy those characters and stuff but if you didn't like pirates of the caribbean you're probably not gonna like this movie i'm being honest it's not too verbatim of that but it is up that style of disney movie and, you know, some of my gripes with it is, number one, I did feel the special effects weren't entirely too polished. I didn't know if that had to do with the COVID-19 pandemic, um, that they just felt like they didn't want to spend any more money than they had to, that they were just going to make this, uh, you know, to, at a point where it was passable. And I think that that's fine. It's not a major gripe because most of the movie looks really good. I mean, it's shot very well. There's no downside to the actual cinematography of it. I just felt like the special effects did stick out like a sore thumb from time to time. You could definitely see evident green screen and in, in various different scenes in the film. Um, but Emily Blunt and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I mean, they carry this movie. And a third lead that they threw in here would be Jack Whitehall, who I don't really know much about. Some people told me he's a content creator. 
Um, I really enjoyed him in this film as well. He's probably somebody who's going to get cast a lot more because he's actually really talented. And he did a really great job in this movie. He kept the laughs going along with Emily Blunt and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This is a very funny movie. This has a lot of very funny moments. I, I really thought it was a very accessible movie for audiences. You can take your kids to it. There are probably a couple scary sequences there there for him though and um you know i think that you know the kids will have a good time though either way it's it's a really fun adventure at the end of the day that has humor for the whole family and i think that at the end of the day that was the goal of the movie and so i can't really be upset or fault the movie for being what it is because it's great for what it's supposed to be and you know for me I don't think that this is an outstanding film. I don't think it has the highest stakes of all time or anything like that, but it's a really fun, entertaining summer blockbuster. Great popcorn flick, and that's what it was meant to be. And if you like that, if you just want to have fun with the Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie, personally, that's what I seek out of them, then you're probably going to you know, have fun, like, have fun with it like me, if you're anything like me <laughs> in that sense. So definitely give jungle cruise a shot guys i mean the other thing that i would say that you know really um faltered in this movie is probably the runtime is just a little over long it's about two hours and seven minutes and there's no reason for it to be that long um but it's still a really good time and there was a lot of fun areas in it enough to keep you interested has a good plot um for a movie that's as simple as it is you know and you can definitely see some of the inspiration from uh things that you know you grew up on whether it be star wars indiana jones it has a lot of that in there too so i really recommend jungle cruise it's it's a good time guys i mean it's definitely worth a sunday matinee you know maybe i don't know so check it out guys matinee price whatever you want to do go see it i think that you will have a good time with it i think most people will i don't really see a lot of people complaining about this one too much it's honestly not too bad of a time go see jungle cruise emily blunt and Dwayne the rock johnson just make this movie a blast and i had a real blast with it so thank you guys for joining today this has been another review for myself don martino um and we'll see you guys next time Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave some feedback in the comment section, share this with your friends, hit that bell for notifications, check out some of the other content on the channel. Thanks for joining. Good night. Later.